Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Bad Mouse Gaming. I'm your host, Dave, aka Bad Mouse, and we are back in Planet Crafter with a brand new update. Oh, this has got to be one of the best updates yet. You guys are going to love this. I am going to show you everything you need to know before you start playing this update. And let me tell you, there's a lot to go over. So you don't want to miss any part of this video. I know some people like to jump through the videos to certain areas, but you ain't going to want to miss this one. But um, before we get started with this awesome episode, let me remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now would be the day to do it. Yes, yes, today. Today is your day to click that subscribe button. Go ahead. And, of course, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And if this was something you guys enjoyed watching... Click that like button. Let me know. All right. Let's jump into this and let's talk about Planet Crafters. The fish and drones. That's right. Drones update. Yes. <laughs> All right. So a lot of you guys know about this map. This is my uh, modded map. Everything in this map was created using my mods. I have not resourced any containers or gone through any of the ships. And I have saved this on my Discord. So, anybody that wants to download this and insert it into their save game list. All you gotta do is make sure when you download it, you change the number to something you haven't saved to yet so if you like me i got 15 16 saves so i would change it to like save 18 or save 19 or something and then drop it right into that folder and you guys can play this map and everything you see will load how i built it and like i said i've used mods so some things i've stacked where they shouldn't be allowed to stack i've put in plants on top of tables and stuff like that but the main purpose of this is to create a very efficient starter map that has everything that you need to get going right off the top. Um, the new stuff. Let's talk about the new stuff. So what I want to do is let's go over to our old automation line where I automated everything. Alright, so I don't know how many of you guys remember this in one of my previous videos. But, um... This was our attempt at automating everything. Anything that could have been automated is being automated. And will continue to automate perfectly regardless of this new update. Now, here's one of the tricky new things. We got these drills. Drilling everything that we need. This one's getting cobalt. Titanium. Osmium. This is the an osmium field. But if we click on it, you can see we got osmium selected. Um, sulfur. Iridium. Uranium. A lot of stuff that shouldn't be in here. And I'm going to show you something here. Let's craft up one of these big drill or um, ore extractors. Now we're just out here in the middle of the desert. And when we go to click on this and click on this. None of that stuff is showing. The only thing you can extract is what's showing in the list. So if you want iridium from this point forward, you're going to have to go to an iridium cave. Set up your miners. And let me just tell you this now. Whenever you set up any of these things, whether it be the gas extractor or the beehives or whatever. Always come in here. This is a new feature. This little cog. And you want to supply anything that you're digging up. So... We're not supplying anything right now because, um, oh, let me, um, open this up. 
because we're not actually using that. Now, because I had already had these set up to do all these ores, they'll continue to do so unless I mess with it. Because there's no nothing here. But if I change it to something, I can't change it back. So we're going to leave that there. So for everybody that downloads this map, this will still be here. This fully automated area with everything in one spot. Now, moving on. Some new features to existing things. We got a couple, couple. Let me show you. Starting with the crash ship out in the desert. Um, I believe these are my trees. Yeah, I see tree spurs out there. But we got the um, sand waterfall over there. And then we got our first original crash ship that we see when we spawn out here in the desert. Are you kidding me? This game hates it when I record. All right, we'll be right back. All right, I think the storm is over. Let's cruise on into this little ship here. The desert ship. The one, you know, the big beautiful valleys back there. So we're going to head off this way. Let's we'll turn on a light here. And like I said, all this will still be the same when you download this. Because when you... I've already got this on my Discord now. So, anything I do from this point forward doesn't matter because it's already uploaded. So, you'll get to do all this all over again. But I just want to bring you in the back here just to show you... One of the new things with the ship that you might have missed. Alright, we're going to go upstairs. What the heck? I fell down. I fell down. Alright, so we got one closed hatch, two closed hatch, one half open hatch, and a fusion generator. Now, I'm going to turn off my flashlight. Because when we add a fuel cell, and watch, it's going to lock in there. You ain't going to be able to take it back out. Give it a second. Give it a second. And... Done. You can't have it no more. So, we got red lighting now. How about that? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Red lights. Yes. And now when you come out here, we got doors in there. And we got rooms in there. So, I'm not going to go in there. I'll let you guys explore that. And, um, we're going to head back to base. I just wanted to let you guys see that little feature. Alright, so another new feature comes in the form of our gas extractor. So we're used to getting methane in here. But now we're getting nitrogen in here. Nitrogen? Yes, we need nitrogen now. And as before, you can still randomly get some oxygen. And, of course, everything's got a cogwheel. And you want to supply the oxygen and methane and nitrogen. Because if you don't supply all three and have all three going somewhere, and you just have the two or one, then eventually the oxygen and whatever you're not demanding is going to overtake the slots and it will never produce what you do want. So, keep that in mind. Whenever you're setting these up and it has a byproduct such as the oxygen that you don't want, you're going to need that to go somewhere. And um, just like your, your beehives, if you only take out the honey and you don't take out the bees, eventually all you're left with is bees, then you'll never get more honey. So same thing here. See, I've already got these set up. To automatically draw out the bees and the honey because we need that for auto crafting. So yes, we have a new product called nitrogen. We also have, we also have, let me just throw one down here. Oh, I have some set up somewhere, but I just want to 
Don't want to take you in there quite yet. Not quite yet. We have a tier 2 gas extractor. Much nicer looking, yes. And then now, we can choose what we want to harvest. We can choose. And you don't have to worry about the byproduct of the little one. So if you want one just to get oxygen, you can do that. But I'll show you how I set mine up in this little map when we get to that little area. Now, some of the new stuff that's coming in. Some of the new stuff. Get a little hungry. That's what the bees are down there for. They're making me food. One of the new things is, yes, a GPS T4 satellite. Oh, look at that. Isn't it glorious? Let's go look at the map. Let's go look at the map. You can see here. Let's go smaller. No. Oh, okay. So here's what we were limited to the last time. And I don't believe we had the ability to move the map either. Now we can move the map. And the purpose of the map is this will show you where you, if you need iridium, this is where you need to go to set up your mining drills. If you need um, uranium or, oh, that was osmium, my bad. And then zeolite, there's your alloy, super alloy, aluminum. So now let's look at what a T4 gives us. Eh, not too bad. It's, it's, a, it's so nice. I remember when the map first came out, it wasn't as clear and as detailed. You, you could barely make out like shapes of area and stuff like that. But I think this looks beautiful now. For, for a satellite map. Remember, we're looking at this from space. Alright, so... We also have, we also have another satellite called the Drone Visualization. I think I was going to say it right. Rocket. What this is going to show us is where all your drones are on the map. At the moment, my drones are just in one area. They're going from the cloud base straight down. And, um... I'm sure a lot of you know about my cloud base. Or my cloud storage, that is. See, it's up there. We're going to head up there now. Um, because that's where the drones are. Alright, so. All my cloud storage... I have not set up at all. You basically want to go in here. And if this is mushroom seeds. You want everything to be set to demand. So. Um, you're demanding mushroom seeds. So anytime you create a situation. Where you're making mushroom seeds. You want to set that as supply. So that the little bots will zip it back and forth. Same thing with, um, I could show you with the sulfur. Because I have sulfur being supplied to, um, being supplied to my, um, auto crafters down there. So, and they're coming right out of a sulfur field. So, if we go in here and hit demand, sulfur, pretty soon our little robots will start zipping down. And then bringing it back up. They'll supply from underneath. I mean if we was to fly underneath and look. There they are. And they're going to go down to the sulfur mines. And um, I'm going to show you how to set that up real quick. Look at what we got here. Got this whole new machine here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your crafting menu. I'm going to show you where you unlock all this stuff and how. But we have a drone station here. And it's going to cost you circuit boards. That's a new product in the game. 
the new area in the ship that I showed you. And there's another new area I'm going to show you. Those tubs, those crates in there, the blue ones, they all can contain these circuit boards. And then I'm also going to show you what it takes to craft these. You can auto craft these. Uh, yes, yes, you can auto craft these. Yes. So there's your nitrogen cartridges. And then I think this takes the nitrogen cartridges, yes. My inventory's full. Um, but anyhow, so yes, so this is storage, and I believe this is where the bots are stored when they're not being used, because I see it sometimes filling out more. And we can auto craft the drones also. And we could set a um, supply and demand out of this storage if we wanted to. Where are those little bots? There they are. I don't know what recipe that is, so. But I don't use this for supply or demand. This is simply a place to build drones and set them free. And then this is just information on what's going on. How many drones you got, what they're doing. Are they in standby? Um, what's being demanded and supplied and all that good stuff. So it's kind of like a central nerve system here. And I, I stuck it up here because this is where my cloud storage is. So if I needed anything brought up here and filled up, I was going to set that up, but I'm not. Common larvas. Guess what? We can auto craft those. Yep, because we need them. We need them. Alright, so that's the drone part of it all. You create your drones, and then everything, every container, anything that has an inventory, will have a supply or demand. You don't have to set these drones up at all, but you can set up a priority. So if it's demanding sulfur here and demanding sulfur there, you can set one as a priority more. Or one as a priority less. So if they're not doing anything, at the very least, bring this thing something. Otherwise, forget about it until everything else is done. Type of deal. All my bots are coming back because they're done doing their thing. Alright, next thing we're going to look at is the waterfall. This has been completely reworked. These are game trees. These are not from a tree spreaders. These will spawn automatically just like a ring has that growth all over it. Now there is, finally, something special about this waterfall. There is a cave. There is a cave. Let's see if we can't get up in there. I'm going to fly, just make it easier. We have to get up here behind this water. We're up here a little ways. Am I up here too far? Yeah, it's not too far. We're right almost at water level. But now you can see we are inside the waterfall. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how many people cannot wait to build their base here. I'm not too sure what that is. Are these graves? Headstones maybe? There's some of them circuit. Or no, those are the blueprint chips. Um, We'll leave them. So yeah, I think these are uh, some grave markers here. Which just kind of disappeared right off my screen. See if we can make them reappear. There they are. Wow, look at all that good stuff. This is a good early game find. Yes, that's a good early game find. If you can make your way to the waterfall early game. You can jump right up in here before the water starts. Uh, 
All right, so that is that. Now I know everybody's been waiting for the fish. What do the fish look like? Are they coming? How many are there? Let's go talk about the fish. I guess we could take our little transport over here. Now, like I said, this is a giveaway map. So anybody's free to come to my Discord. And um, the link is down below in my description towards the bottom. I do have a lot of locations here, including a space base. Careful, you don't want to float off into space. But if we look down there somewhere, that's where our actual planet is. And we can fall all the way down to the planet. But that would take a while to fall. Alright, the fish. Let's talk about fish. Uh, let me look over my notes here. Make sure we've gone through everything. Yes, we have. Gas extractors, all that good stuff. And that. Alright, so just like the butterfly room all the way down there. We now have a fish room all the way over here. Now remember when I was telling you about the bees. We need those bees going somewhere or else they'll overtake the pods. And we won't get no honey in there. And that's what we want is honey. Right now I want something to drink. So I have bees and oxygen coming here. And if this gets too full, I just zip everything over here. Throw it all into there. Deconstruct. And I don't have to worry about nothing. And my beehives will always stay empty. Empty of the bee larvas that I don't need. Alright, so our incubators. Incubators. Not only have butterflies, but they now have fish. Butterflies needed mutagen 2. Fish are going to need mutagen 3 and 2. I guess that was mutagen 1, huh? Mutagen. So we're going to need 2 and 3 here. And then you got something called plankton. What is all that? What is the plankton? So out here, we got these crazy new devices here. These are called, um... These. Water life collectors. And basically, it's skimming the water. And it's pulling out all these different, um, planktons. And every once in a while, I'll catch a fish egg. So you also have to have that providing fish eggs, I guess. I don't see how that's going to work. You might have to just come in here and manually check these once in a while. And pull out any um, fish eggs that might get in the way. It's just something we'll have to deal with. Unless you set up containers that collect the fish eggs. And then you can just destroy the containers. But, um, yeah, so... This here is a fish farm and it requires some of that plankton and some bioplastic and silk. And then what you do is you'll drop in one of those fish. You see this has an animal multiplier of 100. So what's an animal multiplier? And you can see my fish running around down there. Because when you drop in a seed of fish egg, it's just like dropping in a butterfly larva in one of those butterfly dispenser things out there. These are our fish that we have. These are empty over here. But we got all the way over to there, all the way around. We have 11 different fish. These are the names. They were what they look like and what their multiplier is. I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of these. Some are pretty cool. You can leave your comment down below. Let me know which one you like. But this one here I actually kind of think is really neat. That's a good aquarium fish.
Now we have the sign. I'll take one fish egg. And then the tank itself will take two fish eggs. These tanks are much bigger than the, uh, than the uh, incubators. But you can still use the incubators as a display also. It just doesn't um, look as clean and clear as this. So there's your golden, your top dog there. 500. Like I said, these are done. And then this is what it looks like with a fish in the incubator. You can't really see them too good. But it does take up less space. Now, I know you guys caught an eye on what was going on over here. This is where my mods came in handy. I stack these chests up to keep them all nice and neat. I like the little blue ones because we can label them. So each one of these is calling for its own little supply. And everything is being auto crafted. And um, my next video will be all about me trying to auto craft everything again automatically. So we got the plankton, we got fertilizer, common larva. There's nothing in there, but how do we get common larva? We are crafting common larva. You are supplying it. And, um, I don't know where my bots are, why they ain't putting them in there. But anyhow, yes, we are crafting larvas. And then this is making its thing. Everything that we need to build fish. So when we come over here to our incubator, you see we need those planktons, we need the fertilizers, and we need the different mutagen. So, fish farm taken care of. And then, like I said, we have uh, extra tanks for anything that might come in extra. This is just stuff needed to create our mutagens. I didn't really label these, but they're all being supplied by the bots. All being supplied. That's where all my larvas are going. Now, we have fish tanks tier one. And we got fish tank tier 2. This is where I stuck my extractors. My air extractor tier, T, tier 2's. We have one doing the nitrogen. And then in the other side I have the exact same thing. Doing the um, methane. Now what you do. This is kind of like your tree thing. You're going to drop in different fish I got all the golden fish in here so I have the highest multipliers and we can jump in here this does not have to be in a lake or anything it can be up in the air the water fills up and it's just golden and then I think I'm gonna put more power supplies in here but I really like the way I got the grass or the uh, algae growing here underneath I got these here for these here. So you guys are making everything that we need craft up all this fish stuff here. So for those of you that look forward to these downloads, I hope you guys really like this map. All right, moving on. All right, so I came back over here to the waterfall because I forgot while I was over here. Billy me. I was all excited about the cave inside that we forgot about the new spacecraft over here. How about that? I'm not going to really explore the inside. I have been throughout the whole inside. And let me tell you, this little chunk of spacecraft is huge. Huge on the inside. I'll show you a little peek in here. Oops, I wanted that. Look how long this is. Corridors that way, corridors this way. And look, look, look at these. Stairways. 
Then you got more stuff upstairs, more stuff downstairs. Um, there's stuff everywhere. Now, while I'm in here, I am going to show you this. I'm going to take you back to the blueprint thing where you unlock stuff with blueprints. Because, is there a blueprint in here? Yes. Grab that one. Um. All this will still be intact when you guys get the map, like I said. Alright, so, I want to show you one of the things that we're going to unlock with the blueprint. Microchip. Deconstruction T2. Why is this different than the T1? Oh. All those computer boxes laying on the floor, up along the walls, that you've gone through all them ships and you've seen them all. Now you can deconstruct them. And what do you get when you deconstruct them? You get circuit boards. You need them circuit boards for um, building some of that stuff. Right there, you need it for the Aquarium T2, Aquarium T1. Um, what else we got here? Nothing else. Oh, we need three of them for the drone station. I think that's all the new stuff, really. So, yes. Yes, those are handy. So, that's something you might want to... Get into there's a bunch right here so you would want to deconstruct 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 and now you have a whole nother section here with another fusion cell three you're going to need three and if you download this map we are auto crafting them over there by the waterfall or by the ring and um, you'll be able to get all of the ones you need from there. Look at all them circuit boards. Alright, so. That'd be funny if there was a fusion cell in here, wouldn't it? Oh, that's that. I'm glad I didn't forget about that. Let's get back out of here and let's head back over to the base. Alright, so here we are back at the aquarium. We're going to run upstairs to the lab. See if we can talk during this storm. Oh, let me run up. We need to go to cloud storage. Something I want to show y'all. Remember the pink chips? They're gone. There is no more pink chips. The shards? They're gone. They just disappeared. So we don't have that no more. But we do have some blue chips. Alright, let's go down. And, um... We'll grab something to eat. And, um... We'll go take a look at the computers here. Good deal. Alright, so when we come over here and we look at this, we're going to deconstruct. I believe we're going to get the deconstruct tool. There it is. Then we're going to get the, the new mapping satellite. There it is. And then we get the new drone satellite. There it is. And then there's no more. Because I got my mods on it. didn't actually use any resources. Because I got free construction. But um, yeah. Those are the things you're going to want to try to research. And then when we go over here to our. This isn't where we do our crafting. T2 requires two nitrogen cartridges. And the original deconstruction microchip.
And here we can see... I believe I need to start over to really tell you where everything is at, at what point things unlock. But um, your drone station and your T1 aquarium is going to be towards the end of your terraforming points. Which is way down there. And then um, your water life collector, which will give you all your planktons. Will be after you get your heat set up on your oxygen point. And then you unlock your mutagen T3 here after you get your nuclear fusion going. Wow. And then the gas extractor and yours, those are already there. I'm not seeing the gas extractor T2 though. All right, moving over to the bio. So we got the heater T5. Um, these are where your fish will unlock, the different types. 100, 150 multiplier, and your aquarium T2. This is where your gas extractor T2 comes in. So you got to get your plant points up. And then under your insect points is where you'll get mutagen too. And then we have animal points. Animal points come from your fish. As soon as you drop down some um, fish things out in the water and a couple of aquariums and you're building up these uh, multipliers, then this stuff will start to unlock for you. The fish farm, the larma. That means we can craft the sea larma now. Once you get to that certain stage, which is in an animal stage, and then we can craft the larva too. Once you get to that animal stage, all this is needed to be done after you reach the fish stage, the animal stage. Otherwise we can't unlock all that. Now we've already looked in here. There's nothing really new in here except for the T2 deconstruction tool. And then over here, we now have the circuit boards, which can be constructed here. I'm wondering if the C Lerma comes from the trees. There it is. So you would use your geno sequencer to create your learning seeds here. And then once that thing is created, you could just supply it and poof, it goes off to where it's gotta go. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, I am pretty darn sure I have forgotten something and I can't remember what, but I believe this is where we're gonna leave this episode. Like I said, this map as you see it, Completely untouched. I haven't gone through anything, including the dead body down there. That hasn't been opened up or nothing. The only thing I've done is placed a few bases throughout the map and set up teleporters. And then we got our main structure here, which is providing almost everything we need. So, leave your comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this update. And whether or not you're going to download it right away and play it. And what kind of things you're going to take from my video. And um, give me a like. Thanks for watching. See you guys next turn.